I know we're kind of a little bit time crunch, but I want to, huh? Yeah. So I'll try to go through as quickly as possible, but I am going to do something that's going to be color coding on this, which will be very, very helpful for those of you that like color coding. And since it is May, I'll do uh, Christmas colors because that makes me think of the winter time, even though Florida winter time is not really winter. But anyways, so first thing you guys want to do is group. Let's group your variables. Did everybody see what I did? Okay. Now, we need to complete the square for the x's, and we need to complete the square for the y's. So in both of these cases, I need to take b divided by 2 and square it. So in this one, it's negative 8 divided by 2 squared. Negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 squared is 16. And then here, I have b divided by 2 squared, which is 4 divided by 2 squared, which equals 4. Now remember, when you complete the square, you want to add it inside those parentheses. That creates your perfect square trinomial. And then whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. So in this case, I have x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus y squared plus 4y plus 4 equals negative 11 plus 16 plus 4. Does everybody see how I added everything up? Did you see your thing? Okay. Does everybody see the color coding? You see, you see your mistake? Now, we can now we can factor these down to binomial squares, right? So therefore, what two terms multiply to give you 16, add to give you negative 8? Here, y plus 2. This adds up to 9. And now, guys, is this in this general form of a circle that we like? Yeah. So we can say the center is 4 comma negative 2. The radius is r squared, which is 3. 